Andrew Tate has tweeted more from jail in the past few months than most of us will do from the comfort of our own homes for a lifetime, and the majority of it is pretty out there. Tate is currently on trial in Romania, and it was confirmed this week that the controversial influencer will remain in prison after a court upheld a third 30-day detention for the social media influencer. Tate is being held in the country on suspicion of human trafficking and organized crime. He previously lost his appeal against a judge's decision on 21 February to keep him behind bars for another month. It is the third appeal since their initial arrest that he and his brother Tristan have lost. The former kickboxer was previously banned for five and a half years after violating the platform's terms of service, but was welcomed back to Twitter in 2022 and he's been making up for lost time ever since. These are the strangest things he's been saying on Twitter since he was arrested back on December 29th. Flying is, genuinely, possible. Tate was recently mocked for asking if people have attempted the, impossible, task of, genuinely trying to fly. How many of you have genuinely tried to fly? Genuinely. How many of you have researched, trained, and truly tried to fly? He wrote. None of you. Why? Because you think it's impossible. You've never pushed yourself because you believe the goal can never be achieved. Okay. When he said he fought a ghost in his cell. Tate surprised his followers by writing a strange post claiming he'd had a fight with a ghost in his prison cell. I was awoken last night by an icy chill and identified a ghost in my prison cell, he wrote. He was terrified and begged me not to annihilate him. I sent him back to hell with a message for the demons. I am always ready. Keeping fit inside his cell. Tate also claimed that he walks 10 kilometers and does 500 squats and 500 press-ups every day in prison. He claimed he has, extremely limited freedom of action, but will his time in his cell he said he is able to practice his, tiger paw technique. He wrote, I am in a cell. I have extremely limited freedom of action. Every single day, I do 500 squats, 500 push-ups. Practice my tiger paw technique. Walk 10 kilometers. Write and complete lessons for the students inside the real world. Read and respond to 100s of letters. He's on a mission to protect men. Tate has been thinking about the outside world, clearly, and he previously posted about his intentions to start a charity to protect men from false accusations. He wrote at the beginning of February that he would be donating 100 million to start a charity to protect men from false accusations. Tate didn't offer any details of what protections his charity would offer, nor of how it would go about implementing them, nor, indeed, what kinds of false accusations would be covered by its work. Comprising himself to Nelson Mandela. Delusions of grandeur. Tate, quite possibly. He compared himself to former South African president and apartheid activist Nelson Mandela on February 1st, posting a quote from the great man. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come. But I can only rest for a moment, for with freedom come responsibilities, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not ended. The Matrix. Tate has been weirdly obsessed with the notion of, The Matrix, while behind bars, and not the film. He's talked about it for a long time, previously explaining to YouTuber Rob Moore last year, in the movie The Matrix, your body heat is being salvaged, and to keep your mind occupied, you're living inside a false reality, computer generated. The reason I think we live in a matrix now is. Because I think the same thing is happening. Perhaps it's not our body heat, perhaps it's our work, our ideas, but they are being salvaged, and the reality they've given us to occupy our brains is false. We don't live in the real world. We are living in a reality where we're told stories and narratives that aren't true, where they try very hard to distract us with garbage. Anyway, he's been banging on about it while in Romania, writing a few days into his time in jail, the Matrix has attacked me. But they misunderstand, you cannot kill an idea. Hard to kill. Hitting out at Logan Paul. One of the oddest moments came after YouTuber Logan Paul appeared to share Tate's stance on, the Matrix, only for Tate to throw it back in his face. YouTuber and impulsive podcast host Paul then took to Twitter, writing, the Matrix is real, pray you never become its target. However, there is no evidence to suggest it was aimed at Tate. Tate, however, took offense to Paul's tweet by directly responding, You are the Matrix, you are an agent, but the Matrix is cracking, and now you will pay the price. Saying he had a full head of hair. People have been fixated on his hair situation while in jail, and Tate wasn't fooling anyone when he claimed he had a full head of hair, recently. I saw my reflection today and I barely recognized myself, he wrote. A long beard, a full head of hair. His, Judge Judy, show. We don't know where to start with this one. I am considering starting a relationship counseling show, very similar to Judge Judy, he tweeted from his cell. A man and a woman will come to me to present their arguments and I will decide who was right and who was wrong. His poem about cockroaches.
one unexpected post saw him write a short poem about bugs, which read, they are trying to break me. Thrown inside a cell without light, cockroaches, lice, and bed bugs are my only friends at night. When the guards bring me to Anne from the courtroom, I stay absolutely respectful. They try to pour hatred into my heart, 